Hello everybody and welcome back to another diecast review. Um today I'm going to be reviewing Matt De um 2021 Wave 1 um All-Star Diecast. Now if you look behind um this car, I have a bunch more diecasts like all of these, not the two customs and not the Hot Wheels car that I haven't reviewed. I probably don't I don't know if I'll review those. Um I'll have to think about it. But I haven't made a diecast review in a while, so I'm happy to be back with them and sorry if the lighting isn't the best as you guys know i just finished um, remodeling my room it's not completely done but i don't have all my lighting at the moment it will be coming the uh, lights um good lighting will be coming back soon but you know this is just i'll probably make some more diecast reviews if i feel like it but without further ado um let's get this diecast right out of the box all right so here's the diecast out of the box and uh I really do like the scheme. I'm not the biggest fan of the where the number placement is, as you guys know. But really fast before we talk more about the scheme, if you guys are wanting to pre-order any 2021 releases or buy, you know, the new releases that just came out in the gold series, um, click click the link in the description below to K State Diecast, um, and you know, buy some cars there that are, buy the cars that have just been released and use code SRT. 0616 on orders $20 or more to get free shipping so you don't have to pay you know for any of that crap but um yeah use that code and uh, let's get this diecast review right underway all right so let's take a look at the sticker first that comes with this diecast so here's the sticker you got nascar all-star race bristol 2020 met the meta at the 21 right there and then fvp um verify proven um, I do what I do like about these, um, what they've done with these, is I like how they've, um, I, I like how they added more detail. You know, they designed them more. You know, they've kind of put like some of the paint scheme on it, if that makes any sense. Um, I really like this. Love this. This is very nice. And uh, so now let's review the diecast. So take a look at this car. Very nice car. I just picked this up yesterday. Very, very nice scheme. I love it. I don't like where the number placement is, though. All right, so let's start off with the front of this diecast. Um, we got 21 right there. We got 3M, Lincoln Welders, and Sunoco. Mustang right there. You got the grills and the headlights. We got um, Wood Brothers Racing. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Uh, 3M again, Lincoln Welders, and Sunoco. And on the roof of the car, you've got FVP, Verified Proven. you got the Ford logo. Now, I really like the hood of this car. I don't know why. I just love all this black stuff on it. I don't know why. I don't even know what it is. I don't know why I like it. I just think it's a cool change. It would have looked cool. I, I'm, it, would, it, would look cool. it would look cool if it was just white, but I don't know why. I just like this black stuff on here for some reason. I really have no clue why. I just... It's, it's something I like. No clue why. Some of you might not like it. For some reason, I do. Take a look at the top of the car here. You got the 21. You got um, Kitty right there. If I pronounce that right. And the deck would you got, let's see. Um, uh, I see Durso, Libman, I think. Jack Links, FVP. Um, I don't know how to pronounce uh, that one right there, so I'm not even going to try it. Um, back of the car, we got Menards, got the Ford license plate, and you got the 21. Now, what I don't love about this car is the fact that, like, the spoiler is the same color as the car. Now, here's the thing. It doesn't look that bad, but, like, it's not my favorite. I and mean, if they just put it, made it white or just kept put it, made it black, I think that would have looked good. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, let's take a look at the side of the car here. Um, you got NASCAR Cup Series. You got FVP. Um, once again, verified, proven. NASCAR Race Car right there. Matt Benedetto right there. You got the AB Post. You got Ford. Whatever that is. And whatever those are. Two other sponsors are. Lincoln Mulders. Quaker State. Menards. Don't know what that says. Richmond, and I think that's Dutch Boy, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the gas thing right there. Got a Ford Motograph and Quick Lane. Now, I don't know what um, made NASCAR think it'd be 
it'd make the cars look cool if they move the numbers back and i don't really see how it really helps the sponsors because like the sponsors on the hood and i think everybody can see that pretty good unless the hood's all messed up or there's no hood on the car because it got involved in the crash um i don't really think they needed to do that i don't think it's helping the sponsors any as much as i don't think it's helping the sponsors any more than it is now with the uh normal numbers but i mean now if nascar wants to move the numbers back you know i can't control that i just don't really think they needed to do that because i mean it just it doesn't make any sense um now i don't know the chase elliott diecast it doesn't look that bad i don't mind it but again i don't love it i mean if they kept this chase elliott car like this this isn't the worst but i mean I don't love it. Um, yeah, I don't know why they did that. Makes no sense, but, you know, NASCAR's going to be NASCAR. But, you know, I, for as much as I don't want them to move the, num the numbers back next year in 2022 with the next-gen car, um, I'm pretty sure they will, even though they know half of the fans hate it and, like, maybe 5 or 3% of them like it. Um, other side of the car here, same, you know, pretty much the same um, really like this die cast. Um, obviously you already know what I don't like about it. Um, yeah, I haven't done one of these in a while, so I'm happy to be back doing die cast reviews. And, uh, you know, I really wish I could have picked this up in the gold series, but, you know, I just didn't really want to get any, um, um, all-star cars. I, I had, I had to get the Justin Haley one though, because it's a Spire car and like, you know, Spire Motorsports. Rick Rue Racing has some cars being made this year. I know Joey Gase has a car being made. I know JJ Yaley has one. I think that is it. I might be mistaken. Let me know in the comments below if there are more uh, diecasts being made from, like, Rick Rue Racing and stuff. I don't know what other teams... I wish they would make a Timmy Hill diecast. That would be so nice. Um, yeah, once again, just love the, um, the paint scheme in general, besides the number. Um, love the fact that, you know, they're designed, I, what I love about this, uh, sticker, I love the, I love the, um, all-star, how it's, it's got, like, just the way it's designed, it's very, very nice, and I really like it, and, um, yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's diecast review. Before I end the video, I'd just like to tell you guys really fast that on Friday, I think it was April 30th, I think. I don't know. Maybe it was May 1st. I don't know. Um, I ordered four new releases that came out. I ordered Eric Amarola's 2021 Smithfield Gold Series, Kevin Harvick's Bush Beer Car, um, Jimmy Johnson's Final Ride Car, and then the Brett Moffat Jimmy Johnson Throwback from at Phoenix. I ordered those four cars. I'm hoping they're coming. I don't think they come today because it's Sunday and mail doesn't come. Hoping... Maybe tomorrow it'll come. So then I can do a diecast haul video and then review all four of them. But I thank you guys for watching this diecast review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Please subscribe. I want to hit 200 so bad. We are so close to it. And uh, a lot of you may know, once we hit 200, I will be doing a giveaway. I'll be talking about that once we hit 200. It's a big giveaway. So please, 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 please hit that subscribe button so we can do the giveaway and hit 200 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, guys.